Uh, joined by Radiohead's uh, drummer and solo artist, Philip Selway, who has just released his second solo album, Weatherhouse. Philip, how are you? I'm really well, thanks, Tom. Congratulations really well. on uh, the album. It is very beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. It's good to hear. Uh, I, I can't help but wondering, what happens when Radiohead stops? Does everyone just walk off in different directions? <laughs> yeah, walked off in different directions at the airport, and that was it. Um, we, um, d- we decided in 2012, we'd had, uh, we, we, we toured all year, and it was a really good year of touring. Um, and, but we got to the end of that, and we thought everything was uh, you know, in a very good, healthy place, and it felt like the right time to uh, step away from things for a while. We all had other projects that we wanted to do. We'd be, all been away from home for a long time as well. So it made sense to take that time away from it. I mean, we, we stayed in touch throughout, of course, but um, actually, you know, we've been in each other's pockets for, for quite some time. And uh, so we took a year and a half away from it. And I made Weather House. Everybody else had their own projects as well. And uh, we've just uh, recently you know, got back together to make music together again, which uh, has been good. It's been exciting to do so. That sounds remarkably healthy and uh, mature. Uh, it, it sounds a thousand miles away from most bands. I can remember talking to Joe Strummer years ago, and he said, if someone had just told The Clash to take a holiday, they would have stayed together forever. <laughs> Well, you know, we like making music, and we like making music together, and um, and also all these other projects as well. So that's always a good incentive, isn't it? Absolutely. When did your other projects, as you say, um, start to become a thing for you? I mean, most people, if they're in a band, that would be their entire uh, focus. When did you start to record parts your, bits yourself? Um, that would have been around uh, my, my late thirties, so um, probably about a decade ago when I, when I started thinking about doing my own record. I, I'd written songs when I was at school, uh, you know, very much schoolboy songs as well, and I hadn't really returned to that for quite some time. Uh, and it just, but it's always been at the back of my mind that that's something I want to do one day, or at least try uh, see how it worked out. And approaching 40 at the time, it, that was a very good incentive to get on with it. Um, it just felt... You know what we do in in, in done in Radiohead since school has been been great, and we kind of worked exclusively with each other for a, a good twenty years, um, which is brilliant because you know you develop a very distinctive voice. But it's then important to also have that chance to work with other musicians, develop other areas of your musicality, if you like, because then that actually all feeds back into the, kind of the, the bigger picture of Radiohead. Right. And, and also, it's, uh, you know, it's just important on, on a personal level, I, I think, to do, to do these, these things. Were you nervous going to do it? Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm, can't, I'm nervous going into everything that I do, really. I mean, I always feel like any new uh, kind of musical thing, any new project or anything, uh, it's always that sense of going in, you've got the blank sheet, and you think, I don't know what I'm doing. I've got to figure out what I am doing. So, yeah, and it's nervous. And then, you know, doing writing songs um, and that whole thing of trying to find uh, a singing voice, um, which was very much, you know, very bound up in on familial. Um, and seeing that project through where you're in a much more central role. And then there's the whole process of, of actually taking the stuff, the music out live. Our lives, and for me, stepping up to the front of the stage, which was, um, you know, a lot of um, done lots of shows over the years, but actually that was a new experience. That was a new kind of uh, stagecraft to how, to learn for me. How did you find that experience? Because uh, it's a very different world. Like you know, I'm not going to get on at drummers. Uh, but you're all very well protected back there, is all I'll say. You have lots of drums around you. You're hard to see at times. Um, you can leave it to the singer. He can have a breakdown at the front. He can have to talk to the audience between songs. You're just closeted back there a bit, is all I'll say. How difficult did you find it? <laughs> Stepping away from all that protection. Oh, so says so, so, so the, the, the lead singer there, I think. <laughs> Do you think? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Stepping out, no protection, just that microphone. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's uh, it's a different kind of vulnerability. I think, you know, behind the drums, you're very aware that you, you, you put a wrong, wrong foot anywhere and actually you've got the loudest instrument on stage, it becomes very noticeable. But, again, there's a different kind of vulnerability when you step up to the front of the stage. In a way, you know, you're putting an awful lot more of yourself personally. Yes. Uh, And, yeah, that's quite an intimidating process initially. But, you know, there must be something in me that enjoys doing it and, (laughs) and keeps me enjoying it. Yeah. I think that's in all of us. Um, you, you must have loved it because you've now you've done it again with Weatherhouse. Your difficult <laughs> second album. This is my second album. Yeah. Was it difficult? Sophomore, I think they say in the states. Don't yes, they? sophomore. Another word for it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> having having you know extended yourself on the first one, this is the one where you should be getting more comfortable. Did you enjoy the process of making this one? Actually, I, I really loved making this one, Tom. It was. Uh, you know, I started recording end of last January, so January 2013, and the whole recording process wrapped up at the same time earlier this year. And I was working with uh, Adam Ilhan and uh, Quinta, and they both worked with me in my uh, live band, The Familial. And there was something about the dy- musical dynamic between the three of us, which I found really interesting, and felt that it had a, a lot of potential and could actually take mine is going to make it much more expansive it was a great experience making the record it was say it was the three of us we did it in the radiohead studio just outside oxford so we had the gear we've accumulated over the years you know very inspiring in itself but also it was it was a really good environment to work in it was a it was very supportive it was kind of a very secure way to work and i think that enables you to to stretch yourself to enable you or risks in what you're doing, find different kind of aspects to your, your performance or your writing. Right. So in all, it was, uh, I really, really enjoyed the, the experience. And live performance, have you done many gigs for it? Not yet. I did a oh. very small show, uh, the small thing at the Berwick Film Festival, uh, where it's just me on my own doing two songs, but I'm working... We're working that side of things up at the moment. Great. A, a beautiful album. And uh, it, it's, it's lovely to hear, you know, the kind of um, the different textures and different things. How have the rest of the band reacted to it? Been incredibly supportive about it. Yeah, they've, uh, you know, I think as we are, all with everybody's um, music outside of Radiohead, I think, you know, we've, we've got what we do in Radiohead and they're kind of stylistically, they're probably the areas that we all agree on. And um, and I think, you know, we recognise the value of what everybody else does out of that context and, you know, uh, realise the kind of the intent behind it and and hopefully the quality in it as well. Right. Um, very supportive is a word you use very often, um, which is, is great to see in a band. Um, I'm going to play Coming Up For Air now, but um, I just see one thing in front of me on a piece of paper that you left Radiohead in the early 90s to move to Ireland for a girl. <laughs> That's a slight, you've been reading Wikipedia, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, and how much do you believe in Wikipedia? Every single word, every iota. <laughs> <laughs> I spent yeah, part of it's true, but I never left Radiohead. Right. So you just came to Ireland for girls. Fair enough. It's close I did. enough for jazz. <laughs> um, Phil, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Congratulations on the album. It's it's, it's beautiful. And uh, look forward to hearing uh, if you do manage to do a performance. We'd love to see more of it. And look forward to seeing you back at Radiohead again, of course. Uh, Phil, thank Lovely. you very much indeed. Thank you, Tom. <laughs>